Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video, I'm gonna show you a super glam pink makeup look. And I'm not gonna show you only the eyes, I'm also gonna show you the whole face makeup. And this is the look that I created. So let's get started. Now the first thing I did was apply some eye masks underneath the eyes. Because I was doing quite a dramatic look today, I wanted to kind of like pamper my eyes just a little extra. Um, so that's why I applied first and then I applied some lip balm because my lips are super dry I used a lip balm from the brand honest beauty But I will put all the details on the products. I'm using today in the description bar down below Now for my eyes, I'm gonna start with this primer, which is from Mac cosmetics in the color soft ochre um, Which has been my favorite primer for a super long time and I just opened up a new bottle, which is always so satisfying <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with this palette, which is the actually gorgeous eyeshadow palette by Gender X Beauty Cosmetics. Such a beautiful palette. When I received it in the mail, I just wanted to do a look with this because it's just so pretty. And it has some really beautiful like shimmery colors in it. So for my base in my crease, I wanted to go for something pink. Um, so I started with the light pink color and I just started blending this all the way in my crease I'm using a nice fluffy blending brush from Sigma Beauty I have a special discount code for Sigma Beauty, which I will link down in the description bar um, So you can find the code in the description bar <laughs> So I just continue to blend this shade all over in my crease going from the inner corner to the outer corner Just making circular motions with my brush and I just keep adding more eyeshadow Then I went in with this color, which is just a little bit brighter and it has a little bit more of like a purple undertone and I started blending this in my crease as well first only focusing like mainly at the outer portion but then with whatever was left on my brush I also blended it all the way towards the beginning of my crease so I actually absolutely love this color and it actually matches my backdrop just perfectly <laughs> so that's perfect then I was kind of looking what shade I wanted to use for my eyelid. I decided to go for kind of like the golden one. It's more like a golden one that I used, but there's also some a shade that is a little bit more cool tone. But I wanted to go for like the golden one. So first I used this all over the eyelid, kind of as a base for that pressed glitter that I'm going to use on top of it. I started with a brush, but I ended up using my finger because it always works so much better. Then I went in with this color, which is so freaking beautiful. Um, it's just kind of like a pressed glitter that you can just use with your finger. I actually love palettes that have like pressed glitters like this one in it because it's so effortless. Like you don't have to do like a lot of steps to apply glitter on your eyelid. You just apply this and your eye look looks glam like in just a few seconds. Absolutely love it. So that's how it looks up close. Now it's time for eyeliner. I, I went in with the Maybelline Studio Gel Eyeliner. I'm just gonna go in with like a wing liner. I used a angled brush from Sigma Beauty and I started with creating like a simple line above the lash line. Then I filled it in and then I started creating my wing liner. I always like to drag a line kind of directing the tail of my eyebrow. And then I open my eyes to see like where my natural crease folds. And then I will make sure to just go right below that to create my wing liner. This way when I open my eyes, like the crease of my eye will not really mess up the wing liner, if that makes sense. It's impossible for me to have it look the same as when I have my eyes closed, as when I have like my eyes open, because I do have a little bit hooded eyes. But this trick really works for me. So now on top of the gel eyeliner, I went in with this liquid liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which just makes my eyeliner super black. I made a video about this, how layering your eyeliner makes it stand out so much more and it makes it also just way more black. So now I removed the eye shields and I also tried to remove a little bit of the eyeshadow. And then I went in with this concealer from Tarte Cosmetics, which is the Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm just using a flat concealer brush and use it that like underneath the wing liner to clean it up. Then for my foundation, I went in with this foundation from Makeup Forever, which was actually the first time for me trying it out. And it's actually so beautiful. Um, I will put the name of the color that I used in the description bar, but it's really beautiful. It almost felt like I had kind of like a watery finish. There's just something I've never tried before, but it was really beautiful. 
So then I went in with some concealer. Again, I used the Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte Cosmetics, which is my personal favorite concealer. I absolutely love it. And what I just really like about it is that it covers really well. It doesn't really look cakey. It just blends in beautifully into the foundation. And also for underneath the eyes, it doesn't crease. It always makes my lower, like my under eye area, it just makes it look really nice. And especially because I do like photographs from my Instagram, for my eyes like really up close, it always just makes it look super pretty. So it's just been like a favorite of mine for years now. And I do have to say, I haven't tried like a lot of different concealers because I'm kind of that person and when I like something, I don't really switch it up. And I'm always kind of afraid to try new things because you know, when I like something, why would I change it? But if you guys know like a better concealer than Tarte, let me know, but I can't really imagine finding a better one, to be honest. So after blending in that concealer, I went in with this um, foundation stick from Bobbi Brown. I do have to say, now that I see it on camera, I felt like I did not really do a really great job on blending this out. And I also feel like this color was a little bit too warm for me. I haven't used fake tan in a really long time because I have eczema in my neck. So I don't really like to use like fake tan on top of that. I don't think that's really a good idea. <laughs> so I'm actually, for me personally, I'm quite pale at the moment. So when I do use fake tan, I feel like this color suits me a lot better. But yeah, I just tr continue to like blend it out. Also applied a little bit of the foundation on the brush to make the like the contour a little bit softer. But I do really like how it made my face look. It looked looked so much more snatched. So now I'm gonna go in with this loose powder from Sigma Beauty. This was also the first time for me trying this powder. I had it for a while, but I put it in a drawer and I just forgot that I had it. So I wanted to try it for today's video and it was actually really nice. So I just applied this kind of all over my face, to be honest, and a little bit extra for underneath the eyes and underneath the cheekbones. We're just making sure that my foundation and concealer is locked in place. What I also like about using a little bit of powder all over your face, that when you go in with your bronzer, your blush, it just blends out more beautiful. Because sometimes when you apply a foundation and you don't set it with powder, then you go on top of it with your blush, the foundation kind of grabs it and it sometimes looks a little bit like muddy, if you know what I mean. So now I went in with this blush which is actually, well, I used it to contour my face. I didn't really need to do that because my contour was already looking quite obvious, but I just wanted to try it. And I really like the color undertone of this product. It's really cool tone, so perfect to look, to like use for your contour. Really nice. And it's from the brand Lamel. Have never tried their brand before. So now I'm using this bronzer. Also, the first time for me trying it out, I'm actually using a lot of products in today's video, which I've never used before. And I will do that for my next video as well, because I have so many new products, which I've never tried before. So I just want to use them all for like a complete makeup look to see what kind of products I like. Then again, I'm using a product from Lamel Cosmetics and this time their brow mascara. So just kind of like setting my brow hairs in place. I always like to use brow gel after using powder on my face because sometimes it gets stuck in my brow hair. So I like to do the brow gel afterwards. So now for my lips, I used a combination of two products from Dose of Colors. This is actually from the Bridal Collection, which was in collaboration with Makeup by Shayla. So she has a, like a lot darker skin than I have. So I think for her, the lipstick will look so much better than me. I felt like it didn't really suit me, at least not with today's makeup look. So I'm gonna fix that later, but I just kept it the way it was and I will fix that later. So now for my one light, I'm using this black pencil from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just applying it all the way in my waterline. And then I used a Sigma Beauty Flat Definer brush. I used a little bit of black eyeshadow like right underneath the lower lash line and also on top of the waterline to really connect the eyeshadow with the waterline. Then I went in with pink eyeshadow again from the palette and used that to blend out my lower lash line even more. And I just blended actually quite a lot because I wanted to look at as blended out as possible. Also, I have a stuffy nose which you probably can hear, it's super annoying, but 
I can't really change it. <laughs> So now it's time for mascara. I'm using a lash curler first. I always do this first because I already have quite short upper lashes, so I definitely need to do this. Then I went in with this mascara from Lancome, which is my current favorite mascara. I just really like it. And then I went in with these lashes, which are super pretty, which are also by Gender X Beauty. I received it together with the palette, so I thought, let me just use these lashes as well, and they're super beautiful. So now it's time to finish off the rest of my face makeup and first I used this blush which is by Gucci and I used it in the color Silky Rose 01 which is such a beautiful color. I love a pink blush and this color is just so gorgeous. So this is how my lips were currently looking. I wasn't really a fan of it so I went in with this gloss which I believe is by Doll Beauty. I just used a little bit on top of my lips and then I blended it out with my finger because it was quite pigmented so I just needed a little bit and that was all I needed. And then here you have the finished result. I really hope you all like how this makeup look turned out. It has been a while since I was talking to you guys like in front of the camera and it just took me so long to do this again. I don't know what's going on. I just feel like I haven't really been myself the last couple of months but you know, November, December are my favorite months to create makeup looks. So you will see my face a lot more the upcoming times. Um, so yeah, I just hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this look. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that. sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different